Cereza and the Lost Demon. Long ago, there existed two clans, the Lumen Sages of Light and the... The clans put in place strict laws to ensure that strife would never consume them. But a pair of star-crossed luck. It was a beautiful baby girl. As punishment for their forbidden love, the pair were torn asunder. The girl's sage father was ex- The witch clan took in the young girl, but she grew up shunned as a per- her one comfort was the nights she snuck into the village jail. Her mother passed each... doing? Cereza, you're almost out of time. This is your last chance. If you don't hurry, you may never see your mother again. John, I... I can't. Oh, you big baby. Come on, I'll lead the way. Just a little longer. Oh.
that dream again. But... It was a dream Ceresa knew by heart. But this time, something had changed. Ceresa decided to consult her friend. A strange boy appeared and told me something incredible. He said, if I went to Avalon Forest, he'd give me a fantastic power. If we had that, rescuing Mummy would be a piece of the Forbidden Forest. Chores neglected, and I find my apprentice enjoying her beauty sleep. I'm sorry. Uh, I just closed my eyes for a second. I, I was... I... Ceresa began uh. making an excuse, but Morgana's scowl stopped her in her tracks. Yes, ma'am. I'll get to them right away. But despite her best intentions, Ceresa's gaze drifted back towards Avalon Forest. This did not go unnoticed by Morgana. Oh, if I've told you once, Ceresa, you must never enter that forest. With your current abilities, you would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. Yes, Morgana, I know. Well then, stop your dreaming and finish those chores before moonrise, young lady. All right, water from the well, coming right up. A simple yes will suffice, Ceresa. Off you go. Despite her strict exterior, Ceresa had grown attached to her teacher. Morgana had also been cast out of the village. She understood Ceresa's pain, and her stern treatment came from a place of love. Ceresa often reminded herself that these chores were all part of her training. Eager to please her master, she hurried off towards the well. Fetching a pail of water, it may seem like a simple chore, but it requires a fine sense of control making it perfect for Umbran training. <sighs> After laying eyes on the full bucket, Morgana gave a small nod of approval. Good. Now collect the herbs from the garden. Oh. <sighs> At the thought of herbs, Ceresa could not help but make a face. This is one job she wished could be forever stricken from her regimen. Do we have a problem? No, ma'am. Trying not to think about the task awaiting her, Ceresa headed towards the herb garden. The herbs in Morgana's garden were not your common basil or thyme. She grew infernal plants with an absolutely foul stench. They typically burrowed to avoid sunlight, but a little bit of magic made them pop right up.
one helping of magic coming right up. Just a bit more. There we go. No one told me they could do this. I've got to catch it quick. Ceresa was pleasantly surprised. She usually managed to make a mess with even this rudimentary magic. <clears throat> oh, I wouldn't mind if it weren't for the smell. Ceresa proudly gave the basket to Morgana. It was full to bursting. How about that, Morgana? Quite the harvest, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> 